You know, what the visuals that we see here are indeed scary, Mr. Uh, Krishan. As we know, what happened in uh, 2012, the Fukushima tragedy, that uh, result, it was a result of a tsunami, an earthquake that led to a tsunami. Eventually, the, uh, the nuclear reactors at the Fukushima plant gave in, and you had, uh, you, know, you know, the casualties that happened then. You had nearly one and a half lakh people uh, moving away to safety zones. Now, uh, with, with quakes like this, it raises a lot of questions on those lines. How safe are people around those areas where there are nucle nuclear plants? Japan, Japan, in fact, is known to be one of the more advanced in terms of in, in, on those lines? You see, uh, it is definitely a devastating earthquake. Uh, but as I said earlier, we have yet to see uh, uh, see the reports that come out of Japan. And um, the visuals are very evident that buildings are, uh, are going to collapse and there are going to be a lot of damages. If you're talking of the earlier earthquakes and uh, the, the, the yeah. large number of casualties, well, that was in a larger area, also because of uh, a high tsunami. This, as uh, uh, a friend uh, Sharmaji said just now, uh, uh, since it is not on high seas, it is 300 kilometers away from uh, uh, Tokyo, it may not be as severe as the earlier tsunami that we saw. But I'm sure this is still going to have a lot of devastating effects. Uh, the number of casualties will be assessed in due course of time. We cannot, uh, I would not like to make any guess. I only hope and pray that it's the least number because Japan is always a country we take example of for better preparedness uh, in, in, in um, uh, their style of construction, right. in the style of living, in the style of uh, uh, preventive actions. That, uh, Japan, in the style of construction and style of living, you say that uh, also for the reason that Japan is prone to earthquakes. They've uh, they've witnessed uh, even worse in the past years. Uh, so this, as we see reports coming in, uh, for now the situation remains calm. It appears that the worst is over, but the kind of damage this has left uh, is going to take them months or maybe. Uh, hopefully just a few months for them to fix and rectify. But thousands of people have been evacuated, moved to safer zones. Krishan Mitro, uh, who's still with us, Mr. Mr. Mitro here, we're looking at the images that are devastating. We see roads that have cracked, uh, houses that have uh, almost you know, broken into two halves. This kind of visual is scary for us, but it somehow appears that the, peop the Japanese people in those affected areas knew very well what to do. They quickly left the their homes went away to safer areas. Uh, so, so we aren't sure of the casualties as yet, but it seems minimal. Mr. Mr. Mitro, please yes. unmute yes. your... Yeah. No, I can hear you. I'm unmuted. Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, as you said also, that, and we know uh, the uh, reports are going to come later on, but uh, we already we know for sure that Japanese people are very well prepared to face any earthquake uh, situation. As you see in this the present visual that you are sh uh, showing of uh, uh, a weather camera, yeah. um, taking the picture of uh, a city, you see a man on the road uh, in the foreground. Mm. And for, for a moment he is stunned, but then immediately thereafter he is run for the shelter. These people are so well trained that they know what to do and nobody makes any mistake. Hmm. They, that, that's the reason that in Japan, uh, the, the loss of life is the least in most of the earthquakes that we have noticed. The only thing is the buildings uh, uh, will uh, get shattered and uh, <clears throat> that we saw the, the uh, one of the buildings catching fire. That is one of the effect which uh, happens due to short circuit uh, when the wires snap and uh, the short circuit uh, happens, right. uh, fire is uh, one of the common uh, outfall of uh, any major earthquake. Surely. Like and that's what we saw there. But uh, a quick word from uh, Mr. Sharma. We see this is, uh, we believe, is the worst earthquake in 13 years. In 13 years, this is the first uh, that has been so severe in Japan. 
The last one, uh, 13 years ago, killed nearly 18,000 people. Uh, as I did mention, the Fukushima uh, nuclear plant bust that eventually led to the demise of nearly 18,000 people. So that, that's precisely what's evoked now uh, with this earthquake today. People there not wanting to return to these areas because they fear uh, what happened 12 years ago, 13 years ago, similar episode. Uh, it, apparently, this is as severe as what it was. Yes, you see, another special thing about this uh, earthquake was uh, uh, it had before and aftershock and a series of them. Okay, the maximum, that is the magnitude of the Richter scale, which measured was about some reports were earlier saying 7.6, but in any case, 7.4 is also, as I said earlier, is a major, major uh, uh, earthquake. And uh, uh, you see, this, uh, the, uh, I have had the privilege to visit uh, the facility at Japan, and most of their structures, they are shockproof. They have built in such a way uh, that they can absorb the shock because it comes in the very, very high risk zone entire country like our northeast india and himalayan belt we are also in the high risk zone zone five the highest mm. uh, risk of uh, the earthquake similar is the case with uh, uh, japan also and accordingly they are most of the structures there that is how you keep the the some of the losses you can't uh, avoid they they they, because of the waves, etc., you have to go through you, that. You can't, yeah, absolutely. This is not some, you, you uh, if, if an earthquake happens, you've got to be prepared for the kind of devastation. But do, would you say that we're seeing more number of earthquakes in recent times? The number of quakes that Delhi has felt, regions of North India, uh, the, uh, and, you know, the Asian region has felt earthquakes a lot many number of times in the recent past. Is there a reason to that, Mr. Sharma? You see, basically, uh, these earthquakes, as all of us, we know that it's because of the tectonic plates which are there. Uh, they are in a continuously uh, position of uh, uh, the state of uh, movement also. And when there is a large some shift and they slide under each other, that is the time you have the major earthquakes. Otherwise, you see, the slight intensity earthquakes, you will be surprised. Northeast India, I have worked uh, in Shillong also. Every second day right. you will have earthquakes. But right. it's a slight magnitude but then major earthquake 7.4 is a major category yeah. it has the dev devastating potential a ravaging effect can be there mm. and then therefore uh, therefore uh, uh, as far as the number is concerned you can't predict uh, okay whether it is a border in last year 2023 our asian region adjoining part they had almost about six major earthquakes yeah okay yeah. and right here as well with a with a, uh, a major one uh, for japan and then actually this type so, of so we can we can surely say what's happened in japan is severe indeed uh, that's that's all what, that we have time for mr sharma and mr mitru thank you very much appreciate your time to give us a perspective here on what's happening in japan unfortunate we see huge damage to public and private property in japan about the casualties or fatalities there uh, we are yet to ascertain the numbers but for now the visuals certainly look worrying